So, who here has heard of gout before? Show of hands. Okay, quite a number of you. Good. But for those who haven't, you're one of the lucky ones because gout has a long history of making people miserable. It is a sad fact right now that at the dawn of the 21st century, millions are suffering due to widespread misconception about a disease as ancient as the pyramids. It is often dismissed as a disease of kings. Now, gout's an old disease. It was first reported by the ancient Egyptians and then documented by Hippocrates. And for those of you who don't know Hippocrates, he's the father of modern medicine. And so you know that Hippocratic oath of do no harm, well, that's in reference to his work. So I'm talking about a long, 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 long time ago. So here are the facts. Gout is a form of arthritis that can affect anyone. It causes sudden, severe attacks of pain, swelling, redness, tenderness, involving one or more joints, and often occurs spectacularly in the big toe. A patient of mine once likened his gout experience to that of a wolf with his paw caught in a steel trap. It's not just your big toe that can be affected though. Gout causes intense pain in ankles, knees, elbows, fingers, wrists, making even the simplest of daily activities extraordinarily painful. It can confine people to wheelchairs and put people in hospitals and severely impact the lives of millions each year. In fact, there's a Lancet Rheumatology article in 2021 that put the worldwide incidence of gout at 55 million, and it is projected to double by 2050. So you're looking, why should we care? Because too many people with gout think the disease is their fault. They've been told, got gout, it's on you, but it's not true. We know exactly what causes gout, unlike a lot of other forms of arthritis that I treat. And that is high levels of uric acid in the blood. And this uric acid forms dagger-shaped crystals that trigger the inflammation, swelling, and damage in the joint called the gout attack. Well, we know this now, but we haven't always because for centuries, gout was thought to be the disease of kings, afflicting the rich and famous, resulting from overindulgence in good food and fine wine. It was just punishment for living that rich and sedentary life. So now it's true that diet and lifestyle play a role, but there are much more dominant risk factors that we can't control. Whether it is genetics, male rather than female sex, or even medical conditions such as filling kidneys, to name a few. But the myth persists. If you do a Google search, you will find TV shows, TikTok, and YouTube videos, all depicting gout in a humorous light Wait, it's poked fun at. Well, it's no wonder people are ashamed. No one to see a doctor. But the problem is bigger than gout. Gout is just one of the most maligned diseases. But it's not the only one. There is a long list of chronic medical conditions. Obesity, for one, where we ignore the science, we blame ourselves, or we allow others to convince us that it's our fault. And once we do that, we feel responsible. We don't talk about the condition or the disease. We hesitate to get medical treatment and we delay that. But the worst thing is that we are now reluctant to embrace the medical innovation that can improve and sometimes save our lives. So we need to stop seeing gout and other diseases that in the past have been stigmatized through that biased and judgmental lens that history has given us. 
and recognize them for what they really are, medical conditions that deserve modern understanding and treatment. So when we challenge our preconceptions and embrace scientific innovation, we can revolutionize the treatment of age-old ailments and dramatically improve the lives of millions. But God is just an example that paints a picture of how a disease that has been historically stigmatized prevents people from seeking the care they need due to shame and blame. And as a rheumatologist, I see this way too often. Gout is one of the most misunderstood and mismanaged of medical conditions. Despite the fact that we have medication and treatment that can lower that uric acid, gout treatment remains very poor, with most poor people continuing to experience severe attacks, which means their quality of life deteriorates, they miss time from their families, they miss time from work, and they can even require surgical procedures that can result in amputation of fingers or toes. An article in Medicine International in 2023 showed that 90% of all ER visits and hospitalizations due to gout were preventable and due to poor care. Despite the fact that most patients with gout are flagged to receive treatment, only a few of them actually do or are compliant with the treatment. And the most common reasons for this, one, lack of education about the treatable nature of the disease, but it's mostly due to just the widespread misinformation that adds to the confusion to the patient. So how do we break away from all this misinformation that is harming people? How do we bring gout management and other diseases that in the past have been stigmatized into the 21st century? Well, the answer lies in embracing innovation. And that's a challenge no matter what the disease. Because we have to be willing to try something new. But when it's our lives we're talking about, the last thing we want to do is experiment. But we need to understand that this reluctance is precisely the reason why we're not getting the care we need. So how do we overcome the hesitancy? How do we bridge the gap between medical innovation and the patients who need them? How do you make this decision for yourself? Well, there's not one answer, but there are five places to start. So one, education. We need to spread accurate, up-to-date information about diseases, their causes, and treatment. Knowledge is power and the antidote to centuries of misinformation. Two, dialogue. We need to create spaces where people can talk about whatever health challenges they're facing without shame. Three, we need to remember our roles. To my fellow physicians, you need to remember that we are guides on the patient's wellness journey. And for our guidance to be effective, we need to involve and engage the patient towards their health needs as we partner with them. For patients, I must emphasize that the journey starts with you. It's okay to be cautious, but do not be afraid to take action when it comes to your health care. Fourth, we need research. We need people of all ethnicities participating in research. The more options we have, the more likely we get answers that help the individual patient. And fifth, raising awareness, okay? We need to challenge the narrative around historically stigmatized diseases. Gout is not the disease of kings. So as I conclude, I would like to share how I also identified this issue and learned to embrace medical innovation. So this was at the very beginning of my career. I was a freshly minted rheumatologist from training. I like to say that was a long time ago too. <laughs> 
And this patient came to me with the most horrendous case of gout I'd ever seen till date. Although I knew, so well, although I knew there were treatments, but when I saw him, he had these nodules on his hands. He was not able to use his hands for work. He was in severe pain and he pleaded for help. So although I knew there were some treatment options out there, his case was really complicated. I knew that the treatments had significant side effects and allergic reactions were associated with it. And I just said, yeah, let's have you see a more experienced rheumatologist. Four months later, he returned. His pain was now constant and the nodules were all over. His desperation was palpable. At that point, I decided to try that new medication. So this medication was an infusion treatment that melts away the uric acid. It used advanced technology enzyme therapy. We hoped for the best, but we prepared for the worst. Dramatically, the treatment worked and the results were significant. The lumps had disappeared and his pain resolved. And this is now the treatment for patients with severe gout. Witnessing this firsthand was a pivotal moment that showed me the critical importance of one, being open to new treatments and also embracing medical innovation. So here is my call to action and it is for everyone. So you don't have gout or any chronic medical disease. I'm glad to hear this. But at some point, we are called to make decisions concerning our health. And when that time comes, do not hide away. Explore all your treatment options. You don't have to live in pain or watch your quality of life deteriorate. And you most certainly do not need to live in shame. But if you know someone with gout, offer support, not judgment. Okay? Be part of the solution. It is time to start new conversations about all diseases. Let's challenge the weight of history and embrace a new era of understanding, treatment, and hope. Thank you.